Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a night of Hudson Raider High School girls soccer. Uh, my name is Jeff Ian. I am announcing tonight's game. It is a game against the hometown Hudson Raider girls soccer team against the Menominee Mustangs High School girls soccer team. Full disclosure, this game actually was recorded on... Uh, the night of the game and I am doing the voiceover work a day late. Um, I have not watched the game or no, I do not know the score so it'll be uh, an adventure for me to uh, broadcast the game here. But uh, this broadcast is brought to you by River Channel um, as all broadcasts are and uh, should be a fun one. Looks like it was a beautiful night here in Hudson, Wisconsin. I was actually in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, and right off the bat, the Raiders are getting the ball deep into Mustangs territory and moving that ball around. Here come the Raiders. Woo! Good play in there by number 17, Sophia Nault, to uh, force a corner kick. Uh, on your screen are the Raiders in blue, playing from left to right on your screen. And the visiting Mustangs are in white from right to left. And it looks like we have Kylie Newis lining up to take this uh, corner. Got a left foot uh, on the ball. Great ball by Newis there. Really right where you kind of want that, right into the scrum of players. Um, right in that sweet scoring spot in front of the goal. But uh, despite a lot of players, that ball snuck through. And now the Raiders are again pushing it up. Nice little play there by Sophia Nault trying to set up her teammates there. Um, nobody home though, and looks like maybe an offsides call. Uh, being that I'm not there, it's hard to see the whole field, so I'll probably be making a few predictions here from what I see on the recorded screen. Mustangs get a big kick off that um, offsides free kick and send it way into their own territory. Raiders are, looks like, have cleared it. Uh, must have went off a Mustang. Um, also must not be any ball retrievers there because uh, Raider, players are having to run distance to get to the out-of-bounds balls. So that's going to slow the game down a bit for everybody, but uh, it is what it is. So um, here we go. Raiders with the throw. Some good ball movement around. Good takeaway there by the Mustangs. They do not have a Mustangs roster, so I cannot really share uh, any information about their team. Raiders will have a throw in here. Uh, Raiders are coming off a, a weekend uh, of play. Um, not this last weekend, but the weekend before. Um, Raiders started the season strong with two 5-1 victories over New Richmond and Eau Claire uh, North High Schools here in the Big Rivers Conference. Uh, they then took it on the road to the Madison area and uh, did suffer one loss to Middleton High School. Uh, they were outscored there 5-1 to one themselves, um, but then rallied and beat Madison Memorial 2 to nothing. So Raiders are sitting at a nice 3-1 and one record early in the season and uh, have been playing, it looks like, uh, that weekend tournament especially was some some good competition for them to build on and grow from. So Raiders defense holding strong here and pushing the ball up the field. Ball continues to move around. And nice through ball there. That's Allie Steubendick streaking down the sideline, forcing a corner kick. Raiders came close the last time, and that's Grace Lewis. She's uh, adept at putting quality corner kicks in. Looks like maybe now we have some ball retrievers around the field. Here we go. Must be some sun in the eyes there. It's a really nice ball there. Right into a good spot, too, by uh, Grace Lewis, and... Kicked out of bounds by the Mustangs. We'll just give the Raiders another attempt at that corner kick. Lewis again. And she's going to get it out wide and send it in again. 
And the Mustang's clear. Send it deep up the field, hoping to chase that one down a bit. But the Raiders' defense, uh, number four, Jillian Brown, plays that well and moves it, uh, takes it away. Ball ends up out of bounds, though, for a Mustang's throw in. We're about five minutes into this game and a 0 0 score as the teams are still sort of feeling things out a bit. Nice takeaway there by the Raiders, sending it out. Here comes Nault. She's a speedster and a good shooter. But Menominee's uh, goalkeeper, uh, she had the leg up on distance and angle and uh, takes that ball and gives it a good punt. Oh, some nice defense there. There's Grace Lewis with the ball now. After a good takeaway by Riley White. Ball cleared by the Mustangs. Will be a Raiders throw in deep in their territory. Looks like a beautiful spring night uh, in Hudson here. It's actually been a really nice spring for soccer. A lot of springs can be very wet even quite a bit of snow but uh, knock on wood the spring has been a good start for soccer with some nice warm weather um, and very dry conditions in general so foul on the Raiders there uh, tangled up be a free kick for the Mustangs big kick there from the Mustangs but again taken by Riley White Ball sent out deep to the corner. Raiders are going to chase it, but uh, probably going to let it roll. Nope, decide to kick it out and play it safe. Smart move. Be a Mustangs throwing deep in their own territory. Throw in there by the Mustangs. Raiders defense steps up strongly and gets that ball cleared out. Armando Rensinichi chasing that ball down, but not quite there fast enough. So throw in for the Mustangs. Grace Hansen fighting out nicely on the sideline and gets that ball up. Tough turn there for uh, Nault, and it'll be a throw in by the Mustangs. Again, good takeaway by Raiders defense. Grace Hansen playing it on the sideline and gets another throw in. Nice play there. Gets it into Grace Lewis. He's going to send it up, and here's a foot race here. Here comes uh, Steubendick fighting out with the goalkeeper. Just a tough angle. Steuben Dick could go hard at that, but risk a uh, significant penalty by running into the goalkeeper. So, looks like she pulled up a hair, which probably was a smart thing to do for everyone's safety, but also not wanting to uh, have any significant penalties either. So, uh, we keep fighting on here. Grace Hansen with a nice takeaway in the middle of the field, sends it over to her teammate. It's Nault who gets... Oh, what a play! Sophia Nault gets just the enough edge and fires a really tough shot, but just maybe a foot or so wide of the far side post. It was wide open for a score, but uh, just missed it by a hair. But nice play, nice little pass by Grace Hansen, and a nice uh, shot there by Sophia Nault. In that weekend of games, uh, Scoring for the Raiders, we had Grace Lewis, Grace Hansen, and I believe uh, Kylie Newis put one in um, for the three goals that the Raiders scored in that weekend tournament. So um, Raiders now have seven players who have scored this year, which is a pretty impressive uh, way to start the season. And, uh, you know, a 3-1 record is uh, pretty solid. So, 
uh, looking for good things out of this team. It's going to be a fun season. And we have our Mustangs with a goal kick here. Big boot up. Grace Hansen steps in. Really good at taking those kind of volley plays out of the air and settling them. Oh, really nice play out. Here comes Nalt. Oh, she sends it wide. Steuben Dick just kind of tangled up with the defender. Couldn't quite get a foot on it, but I thought Nalt might fire that again at the goal, but she uh, sends it over to her streaking teammate. But uh, again, the defense sort of tangled up with Steuben Dick's feet there and uh, couldn't get a good shot off. Raiders keep knocking on the door, though. Ball into Grace Hansen. It's going to get it out to uh, Hannah Huntley. Puts a low cross on. Again, Grace Hansen. There she is in the middle of the field. Getting that ball set up. Rough tackle on the ball, but uh, looked like maybe all ball, but that still sometimes makes you fall over and doesn't feel real great. Hansen got up a little slow, but uh, looks like she's all right. Steuben Dick fighting that out in the corner. Forces a corner kick, so another Raiders corner kick coming our way. Looks like Grace Hansen's going to take it this time. Oh, maybe not. She's now running into the middle of the field. That looks like mm, looks like Allie Steubendick getting ready here. Or nope, number six, Maggie McConnell, not number sixteen. Here we go, Maggie McConnell with the ball sends a high one, nice ball into a good spot. Lots of people in the scrum. Raiders still get a decent shot off, um, but that ball sails a little high and is going to be a Mustangs goal kick again. <laughs> So those of you that are not aware, um, Menominee is about maybe a 40 minute, 45 minute drive east of Hudson, Wisconsin. A uh, little bit inside Eau Claire, home of the uh, University of Wisconsin Stout. And uh, is a nice little community that uh, is part of the Big Rivers Conference for the Raiders. Good defense by the Mustangs, keeping uh, the shots kind of outside and uh, off balance a bit. So, so far, they're, despite uh, kind of being under pressure a lot, the Mustangs' defense has been holding as we have a 0-0 score about 13 minutes into the game. Checking into the game for the Mustangs, number 24. Big clear Check there by the, Raiders, uh, the Mustangs. Olivia nice take by their center midfielder there. Mustangs attempting to move that ball around. Kind of putting together a few things here. There's some nice passing and a nice cutback move. Raiders defense stepping up again. Ball is out to Sophia Nault, moving down the sideline. Sends it out wide. Guess that ball went out of bounds. I uh, did not see that happen, but uh, it's going to be a Mustangs throw. Oh, actually, I guess it was an offsides call. Okay, so that makes more sense to me because uh, I did not see that ball cross the line or go anywhere actually too far anywhere near the line actually so uh, but again this is a recorded voiceover of the game so I don't get to actually see the whole field where I would have probably seen the flag go up prior and a whistle um, so forgive me a bit um, but it's awfully fun to just watch the game here and uh, record it as well so um, and again I have no idea what the score is so uh, it's gonna be fun for me to watch
Again, the Mustangs putting together some nice passing sequences here. Raiders defense is still strong though. Here comes Nalt again. Mustangs bringing it out and be a Raiders throw. Looks like Grace Hansen lining up for this throw. Uh, I apologize I, with with the way uh, the recorded nominee, uh, recording Clark. of the game, the, the video, nine, as you get to Alexander. see it, I don't see the whole field, so I can't really make a call as to who is going in and out of the match um, for substitutions like I usually do. But we'll kind of see who comes in and out. Here comes Jillian Brown streaking up. Britta Holter there, passing that ball up. Nice defensive takeaway. Now nice sequence moving the ball for the Raiders. Nice cross in. Tough angle. Looks like that's going to be a... Looks like it's going to be a corner kick. So, uh, so that kick uh, looked a little off, but it must have deflected off a Mustang player. And now we have Maggie McConnell again lining up for the corner kick. Raiders start their move. This time a low ball by McConnell. First one was, uh, she put in was a really high ball. This was uh, kind of along the ground. Raiders pick it up after the clear. Um, but the Mustangs keep fighting it out. Keep pushing it up the field. Raiders defense still fighting all over. And uh, there's Grace Hansen again with a nice little turn, pull back, and uh, distributing the ball out wide. It's a ball in by uh, Hannah Huntley. Olivia Petty there fighting in the middle, and the Raiders come in. Oof, they get a nice play in there by uh, Steubendick trying to hit Grace Hansen, streaking in. Or, I mean, Sophia Nault that was, but uh, right, the Mustangs goalkeeper was uh, in the right place in the right time. We're now about 17 minutes into the first half. Score is still 0-0. Raiders with the throw. Sophia Nault is going to take that. Gives it over to Petty. Gets a good solid cross on. Cleared by the Mustangs. Raiders keep trying to carve their way through. Uh, Mustangs playing a lot of uh, players back defensively. Kind of know that the Raiders have a little scoring streak there. A little collision there, but uh, all that was a 50-50 ball, and that kind of collision uh, is normal. Raiders pushing it up now. Ooh, a little cut, cut back, trying to pass it off the Mustangs to get a corner kick, but it uh, didn't uh, ever go out of bounds. Cleared by the Mustangs, though, and the Raiders will have a throw in here. Substitution for the Raiders, number 13, Ava Brown. Number Three substitutions. 10, Talia Heyer. Looks like Grace and number three, Lewis Grace back Lewis. in the game. Ava Brown in the game, number 13, and um, can't quite see the number. So here we go, Raiders. Ooh, there's a good opportunity. A little tough angle, though, but still a good opportunity for the Raiders. Um, Looked like Rancinici with a good left-footed opportunity. Tough angle, though, but uh, she made a good good attempt at it. So, goal kick here for the Mustangs. Olivia Petty there with a nice takedown. Here we go, Raiders moving it around. Good cross through there. Eva Brown in the corner. Good play, but uh, Raiders looking for some interesting angles. That was a nice play. 
was a little foot race. That ball can go pretty fast on the turf and just got away um, from Ava Brown. So Mustangs with another goal kick. Big clear there. Raiders, though, uh, get to that ball first. Going for a big switch there. Some good passing there by the Raiders. Grace Hansen or Lewis with the ball there. A little pass into Nault. Tangled up with the defense. They clear it and it'll be a Raiders throw. Hannah Huntley with the throw there. And Sinichi with a nice little takeaway. Raiders trying to get it out of the scrum out to some wide open players. But the Mustangs step up and clear it and it'll be a corner kick for the Raiders. Looks like Grace Lewis lining up for this uh, goal kick. She'll take this right footed. Oh, that's a nice ball. Boy, that's right where you like it. And there it is. There's a goal for the Raiders. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that was Olivia Petty with her second goal of the game, number 20, or second goal of the season. So Olivia Petty off a nice little pass in and a solid shot. Um, going right for the Raiders, number 24, Olivia Petty. Um, that's going to give the Raiders a 1-0 lead at about the 21 minute the mark half. of the game. Sometimes you get that first one and then it more just follow. The Menominee defense has played well so far, holding off a lot of attempts by the Raiders. Um, but at the 21 minute mark, the Raiders do put one in the goal. And it looks like the Mustangs will have a goal kick here. Good clear by the Mustangs. Uh, Taken there by Maggie McConnell. Kalia Heyer there uh, with a nice little take and move. Raiders playing, they're playing Sal. There's a big shot there by uh, Steuben Dick. Or no, Ransonichi. Sends it just a bit high over the goal. Raiders are starting to feel it a little bit. Sometimes that first goal gives you a little confidence. Booster for going for more. Substitution for the Raiders, number 21, Kylie Newis. Number 12, Grace we'll Hansen. And number 16, Ali Studendick. Good switch out there by Kalia Heyer. Ball does sneak out of bounds, and the Mustangs will have a throw. Substitution for Menominee, number 15, substitution Olivia Rubenzer, Mustangs. and number 11, Kara Geisting. And now we're playing. Nice uh, takeaway there by Kalia Heyer again. And she brings the ball up with a little pressure on her back, but uh, looks like the Mustang snuck in, kicked that ball out of bounds off Kalia. Big throw here by the Raiders. So Lewis over to Hanson. Kalia higher sneaking in nicely to take that ball back. Kind of came out of nowhere. I think the Mustangs thought they had that, but uh, higher uh, snuck in there and took that ball. Here's again pushing up the far sideline. They get a nice cross off, but nicely played by the Mustangs defense to uh, pop that ball down and clear it out. Be a Raiders throw in. Big 
Big cross in, big almost shot in. Wow. Uh, not sure who that was, but that was a pretty uh, impressive shot there by the Raiders from, boy, that was a good 30 yards out or more. And now the ball uh, being brought up by the Mustangs. Nice cut back there and a pass over. Ball sends over. Steuben Dick just a little out of her reach, and that's going to be... Looks like they're setting it up for a corner kick for the Raiders. And... That's Kylie Newis back in the game. Kylie's got the left foot. She's going to line up to take this ball. About 25 minutes into the first half. Oh, what a play there. Grace... Uh, Lewis there, it looked like, with a good attempt. Sends it just wide. That was a solid, solid shot off the corner kick, um, but just a bit wide. Takes a lot to nail a ball right off a corner kick and time everything right. Because um, that ball is moving, there's people moving. you got to time everything just right to crush that ball into the net. But that was a heck of an opportunity and attempt there. Um, again, the Mustangs defense uh, playing strong and stopping these opportunities by the Raiders. Raiders trying to sneak one up the middle. There's a lot of defense there, but uh, taken by the Mustangs goalkeeper. Gives it a big ride up the field. Nice uh, take out of the air by the Mustangs player there, but uh, next pass goes out of bounds. It'll be a Raiders, or no, I guess that's off the Raiders. It'll be a Mustangs throw taken by the Raiders. Raiders pushing it up again. That's Steubendick streaking up the middle, trying to outrun. Sneaks by the goalie, and she buries it. Allie Steubendick with a really nice play. I uh, didn't see who set that assist up with the long pass, but Steubendick put a nice move in, then used her speed to get by, and then uh, just put a nicely placed shot on the goal. So, nice job, Allie Steubendick. That's going to give the Raiders a 2 nothing lead here in the first half of this game. About Scoring for the Raiders, the number 16, Ali Studendick. Uh, I believe goal, fifth goal of the season. In the first half. She's off to a solid start. Um, five games and five goals. And we're back at it when the Raiders are the throw-in. Grace Hansen on the sideline, fighting for that ball. Now she's using her speed. Got around a lot of players, set up a crossing attempt, but uh, kind of ran out of space. I think the ball got a little bit away from her. I think she thought she could get around her, and she could, but the angle got tough. Definitely had the speed, but the angle uh, was getting tougher and tougher, and... Uh, so, we've got a Mustangs kick. Be another Raiders throw in here. Ball into Petty. Pulls a little ball back, nicely played back. Plays it in deep into the middle to Hanson. Gets it into Lewis. Turns it nicely, gets it out to Hannah Huntley, goes for a cross, and it's off of the Mustangs. It'll be a throw in for the Raiders deep in their own territory. Huntley throws that in, gets it into Steubendick, who makes a nice move, takes a shot, kind of a tough angle, but uh, sends the ball wide, and uh, that'll be a Mustangs 
Goal kick. Substitution for Menominee. Number five, Sophia Schoenberger. Number eight, Hannah White. A lot of and goal kicks for the Mustangs. Cup. Kind of rotating some players through it. Probably isn't a bad idea. It's a nice clear there. <clears throat> Raiders end up with it. That's Kalia Heyer. Some nice moves there. A lot of defense back there, though. There's seven defense. All the midfielders and defense back there trying to keep the Raiders uh, from putting too many in the goal. It's going to be a Mustangs throw. Now down to about 10 minutes left in the first half. Raiders continue to lead 2 to nothing. That was a nice play. Nice takedown by the Raiders there. Hansen gets that ball out to Huntley. Tries to get it up to Steubendick, but goes off the uh, Mustangs. Looks like Steubendick's getting a break. Rancinici back in. For the Raiders, Nalt number back six, in. 17, Sofia Naltz. Number 11, Armana Brown throws that Rancinici, ball to Hansen. Number and, four, uh, Jillian Brown. And number eight, Goes out of bounds. Riley Riley Mustangs White. throwing. Good little, little overlap play there. Nalt. Ending up with the ball and Hansen switching with her. Rancinici with a little long shot sets up with the left. Didn't quite get, I think her plant foot ended up where she didn't really want it there and uh, couldn't quite get the power on that shot she wanted. It's Jillian Brown fighting it out on the sideline. Another throw in here for the Mustangs. I'm going to turn the sound on my screen a little bit. It might help me hear a little bit of what's happening in the game. Big throw here. Gets the ball down into Raider territory. Raiders defense takes it pretty well. Moving that ball around with the defense. The defense is largely played at about the middle of the field, so uh, they had a little space to move that ball around a little bit there. Grace Hansen brings it in and sends it over. Grace Lewis tries to flick it to where she can... She had the speed, I think, to get it. Just ran out of the territory to reach that and... Uh, the Menominee goalkeeper is going to get the the punt out of that one. There's Petty again. Nice nice play there and a little pullback. He's going to send it over to Hansen. Gets it in to Rancinici, who then tries to get it out wide, but deflected. Jillian Brown with the ball there. Big setup there. Petty was going for it. A lot of defense, though, stepped in there. And the ball is going to give the Raiders a throw in. Here comes Hanson with a quick throw in to Nault. Pia gets it back, tries to give it back to Hanson, but the uh, angle was tough. And I'm trying to clear it, passed it around, but uh, actually gave it back to the Raiders. It's a good play there. Ooh. It's a nice attempt by Grace Lewis. Uh, she had a chance to set up and got a look and saw where she wanted the lower left uh, corner and took a strike and just missed it, but uh, put a good low strike on that ball and uh, going to end up being a Mustangs goal kick again. There's Petty again, bringing it back. Tough run there for uh, Grace Lewis. Got a little bit too much heat on that ball for her to chase it down. And he ends up out of bounds. 
gonna be another goal kick for the Mustangs and it looks like there's a pretty stiff wind blowing in the Raiders favor uh, right now when I look at those corner flags so uh, we'll see what the second half brings if it might give the Mustangs a little bit of oomph they need to uh, to get some offensive opportunities because so far this half there's not really been much offense uh, for the Mustangs. Julian Brown with a nice ball in. Oh, and the Raiders get the shot, and Ranson Nietzsche is there. Nalt uh, got a good uh, attempt on it and deflected, and Ranson Nietzsche buried that shot. So what a nice play for the Raiders. Now up 3-0 in the first half. That is... Uh, Armana Rancinici's third goal of the season, I believe. So, uh, again, she's off to a solid scoring start, too. Uh, lots scoring of for the Raiders, number eight, Anna Huntley. Oh, I guess that was Anna Huntley. Goal, 34 minutes, 10 seconds. My mistake. I'm hearing the announcer from the actual game. Uh, and that must have been... Hannah Huntley in the middle there, scoring that goal. So, a good play here for the Raiders. A good solid first half. Three goals so far. About five minutes left in the half. <clears throat> That goal is at about the 34 minute mark. And the Raiders keep pushing. Ball gets a little bit away from Jillian Brown. And will be a Mustangs throw in. That ball never looks like it never went in. So I think they're going to let them re throw. Usually the rule is you get a rethrow if the ball never goes inbounds, but uh, that might be a rule change that uh, switches the throw on that, or maybe the side judge said it did go inbounds. I might very well may have missed something there too. Be a Mustangs throw in here. After a little bit of back and forth. Step in, there's Petty with the ball. Out to Lewis, big cross in, and the Raiders score again on a quick goal there. That time it looks like Rancinici, number 11. Guess I'll hear what the announcer has to say in a minute. And that gives the Raiders now a four-goal lead in the first half. Scoring for the Raiders, number 11, Armana Rensanici. So... Four goals for the Raiders, four different people scoring, which is exciting. You'll love to have that kind of balance on your team. We have Olivia Petty, Ali Steubendick, Hannah Huntley, and Armano Rancinici all scoring here in the first half. Um, valiant effort by the Mustangs, um, who have really just kind of been faced with shot and attempt and close to an attempt over and over again um, and uh, but the Raiders are going to keep that pressure up and we have about three minutes left in the first half Mustangs uh, with a goal kick here Olivia Petty there with the ball, moving it around. 
Bringing it back to Hansen. Gets it out to Brown. Pulls back. Nice little move there. And again, brings it back to Hansen. Petty, both there. Brown gets that ball over to Britta Holter at the center D. Now up to uh, Olivia Petty. Ball goes out of bounds, though. No matter the, how good the passing is, it sometimes gets away from people. When you're using your feet, it's just there's just a lot of different dynamics when you're moving the ball and running and trying to use your feet. Ball gets slid over. There's Nault. Gets it back to Brown. Rancinichi over to Nault. Brings it back to Hansen, who sends that ball up the middle to Grace Lewis. He's going to dish it back and a big power shot there. Little high. Not sure who that was, if that was um, Jillian Brown, perhaps. Now down to about one minute in the first half. Raiders are up 4 nothing. I am uh, believing that uh, this video will jump right to the second half and we'll just keep things going here. Ball is over to brought back to the Raiders' defense. There's uh, Jillian Brown in the middle. Nope, I'm sorry, that's Maggie McConnell over to Jillian Brown. Into Petty, who's going to bring it back. Olivia Petty again with the ball in the middle. Sending it deep wide up to Nault. Oh, and there's a good strong move by Rancinichi. Nice defensive uh, play by the Mustangs. Rancinichi looked like she was perhaps going to be able to tag that one, but... Uh, Defense came streaking in and played a good angle and took that ball away. And we are ending the first half here. Hudson Raiders uh, ending the first half with a solid showing of four goals to zero for Menominee. And here we go. We'll be right back at it in the uh, second half here for the Raiders. Um, <clears throat> we have the hometown Hudson Raiders in blue. Second half action in their match here in Hudson, Wisconsin at Raider Stadium uh, against the Menominee Mustangs in white. Raiders are playing in blue from right to left on your screen. And the Mustangs are in white playing from left to right on your screen. So the Raiders pick right up where they left off and they uh, get that ball and they're going to bring it back to their defense to reset and push the ball up. Uh, in this half, the Mustangs will have the benefit of the wind. We'll see what that does for their offensive chances. Not much offensively out of the Mustangs in the first half. Raiders' defense has been strong and the offense has just been able to keep that ball in their territory. But the Mustangs put a solid move on here. They get a good streak down, number three there, but uh, eventually runs into Maggie McConnell, who was able to take that ball away. Grace Lewis there with the ball, pushing it up to Rancinichi. Over to Grace Hansen there. Back to Grace Lewis. Tries to push it up to a streaking Steuben Dick, but uh, intercepted by the Mustangs. Now Sophia Nault. Pulls it up. Nice pullback. Good pass into Rancinichi. Sends it over to Lewis. And a little maybe miscommunication and angle there. No one was quite sure who was going to take that. And Mustangs are able to clear. First half action. Uh, Raiders with a strong showing. Four goals. Uh, Olivia Petty with the first, Ali Steubendick with the second, Hannah Huntley with the third, and Armana Rensenichi with the fourth goal. Took about 15 minutes. Uh-oh, here comes Steubendick streaking down, and she sends a high ball 
across a little too high for Sophia Nault to do anything in a little behind her. Um, it's kind of the kind of ball you play on that, but you never know how it's going to go. So it was a nice play, though, by the Raiders. Just nobody there to do anything with it, which is kind of the what happens in a lot of plays in soccer. Here we go. This is uh, Ellie Steubendick there with the ball, taken by the Mustangs. Some nice little passing there, but again, a little miscommunication on the Mustangs of who's going to take that ball. Grace Hansen with some nice little step moves there to avoid the Mustangs defense. Steuben Dick now bringing it back to the defense to kind of reset, slow things down. That's uh, Maggie McConnell there pushing the ball up the field. Raiders moving around the center quite a bit. Trying to reset. Here we go. Here's Steuben Dick again. She gets the ball and she sends this one across low, but uh, Mustang's goalkeeper makes a nice play coming down low and quick to, to get that ball away from anybody who might be able to just score easily there. And Sinichi there pulling it back to Hanson who sends a little chip shot up to the goal area. Then comes in and takes back the clear. Nice play by Hanson. Good aggressive play. But a clear there by the Mustangs. Taken down nicely by uh, Maggie McConnell. Raiders moving that ball around, kind of run out of space there and sends the ball out. It'll be a Mustangs throw-in. We're about five minutes into the second half. Raiders continue to lead four to nothing. Grace Lewis fighting through two defenders there. Nice play. A lot of defense back there, though. I'm counting at least seven white players back. Usually eight, at least, um, for the Mustangs, along with their goalkeeper. So they're doing everything they can to try to keep the score reasonable. Does make it hard for their offensive players, but uh, you gotta you got to try to slow it a little bit here. It's a ball through. Good hustle play by number 18 of the Mustangs there. Just beating Ellie Steubendick to the ball. Her clear, though, puts it in uh, in for a corner kick for the Raiders. That's Grace Lewis queuing up the ball for her right-footed corner kick attempt here. Gets a nice ball. That's really a nice spot. Right in the general area where you know it's easy to score if someone can get on it, and uh, but that's also where the defense is, so it's not as easy as it sounds. It's a nice uh, cross in there, but uh, Raiders doing some really nice things there. Just uh, hard to capitalize on those, no matter whether you do everything right or not. So, but they're getting some good opportunities here. It's Kylie Newis with the throw into Grace Lewis. Riley White there gets it over to Grace Lewis. Good try there for the Raiders, but a nice pickup by the Mustangs goalkeeper. And a big clear there. Rancinichi with a nice play there. She's really good at using her body to protect the ball and create a little space. Not afraid of that contact 
while maintaining the ball control is Grace Hansen. Moving the ball around and again using her body. She's very good as well at using it and pivoting and kind of using a basketball rebounding type <coughs> boxing out style that uh, is good in soccer for creating space and protecting the ball and buying a little time for teammates to get where you want them to be. Raiders with a nice ball out. Steuben Dick with the ball at about the 40-yard line there. Well, thought she was going to pass, but then she saw that uh, she could move the ball up a little bit, so why not? Moves the ball over. It's been the feet of Steuben Dick. Oh, who really sets up a nice play for Nault, but uh, defense was there. Kudos to the Mustangs. That was a nice defensive play there. Patience instead of chasing the ball, kind of sticking with a player. Sometimes it can be easy for everyone to chase the ball and then you leave players wide open in spots and they didn't do that that time. Good clear there by the Mustangs. Maggie McConnell bringing that ball back to uh, Jillian Brown. Puts it up deep, a little foot race, Steuben Dick. Oh, Steuben Dick gets there. Outlasts. Uh, her challenger, who ran a little too hard, and uh, her momentum carried her out of bounds. So, Steuben did gut. I think she was kind of surprised she had that ball with some wide open space, and she put a cross on, but uh, didn't quite get all of her leg into that one. Riley White here, pushing up, gets it into the middle. Or Ansonichi tried to do, I think, a little flick pass there, but uh, couldn't quite time it right. Nice give and go there by Rancinici and Sophia Nolt. And again, the Menominee goalkeeper comes up big. Playing aggressive, running out there to intercept that ball as quickly as she can. And uh, steals a, a sure goal the Raiders would have had there if she hadn't come out. So good job, uh, Menominee goalkeeper. Now we have Menominee throw in, getting near midfield. Looked like it was sunny and nice. It must be getting a little cooler. I see people on the sideline in hats and coats and hoods up over their heads. And Once that sun goes down these days, no matter what it's like during the day, it gets cold at night still. So, unless you're running around the field. We're now 10 minutes into the second half and the Raiders of Hudson... In blue, continue to lead over the Menominee Mustangs by a score of four to nothing. Here's Grace Lewis with a nice little ball into Rancinichi, who they tried to give a little give and go. Again, nice use of the body there by Rancinichi. Brings it back and they go for a big popping clear. And Grace Hansen had a good opportunity there. I think that ball kind of sat on her. I think she was expecting it might move a bit more so she could really get a full leg on it and uh, she wasn't able to get a full full leg swing on that which happens sometimes you decide I'm either going to shoot it and it won't be perfect or I won't get a shot off and she went for it and uh, good attempt you got to do that sometimes and see what happens so Grace Lewis brings it back to uh, Jillian Brown, and then back up to Kylie Newis, who's going to try to get it up to Steuben Dick, but it goes out of bounds. So we've got some substitutions happening, and it's going to be a Mustangs throw-in. Steuben Dick with a big cross. Bouncing around, Rancinichi in the middle, over to Sophia Nault. Tried to get it out to Hannah Huntley, but uh, defense kind of spoiled that. Be a Raiders throw in and some substitutions. For the Raiders, number 24, Olivia Petty, and number two, Maggie Salama. So number two, Maggie Salama, a 10th grade uh, player, getting into the match for the first time. And uh, Olivia Petty, who scored, I believe, the second goal of the game, is back into the match as well. A 
little misplay there by the Mustangs goalkeeper. I think she sprawled out uh, and ball kind of got away from her. Raiders were almost there for an easy rebound goal, but uh, the Mustangs goalkeeper pulled it together and uh, ended up making a nice play on that. 12 minutes into the first half, Raiders in blue continuing to uh, really dominate this match. Um, time of possession is extremely high for the Raiders, probably about 90%. And uh, the score shows it with 4 nothing. Nice play there. Nault with a nice cross in. A lot of defense there for the Mustangs, though. There's, there's uh, Olivia Petty trying to find angles in there despite a lot of white bodies plugging the holes. Maggie McConnell there. Man in the center of the field uh, gets that ball up nicely to the sideline and a little give and go gets a little away from the Raiders. <clears throat> it's Grace Lewis with a nice takedown and uh, brings it back and gives it to Salama and then gets it to Rancinichi. Will be a petty there bringing it up. Gets it out to Salama again, and oof, whoa. A little dangerous play there by the Mustangs. Goalkeeper wanted it, but defense stepped in and kind of popped it away, and it didn't go real far, and the Raiders almost could have capitalized. Kylie Nusay are trying to cross that ball in, and... Uh, Cleared out by the Mustangs, and now again they've got the ball out wide. And good play there by Jillian Brown. Again, she used her body really nicely, kept the arm in, kept the shoulder fairly straight, and you can make contact, and you can even you can even push a little bit. Rancinici, same thing there. Your arm is straight up and down, and you can use your leverage to get away from players and even sometimes move those players a little bit as long as you're not leaning in you're not pounding that shoulder or arm or body into the other people too much you you can do that and uh i've seen some good things from the raiders in using that physicalness um to make things happen Whole host of Raiders coming in. For the Raiders, number 23, Ava Amelsberg. Number 15, Gracie Nell. Number 22, Natalie Ramson. And number 9, Britta Holter. Whole bunch of Raiders there. Not sure you heard that, but it looks like uh, Ava Amelsberg, uh, Natalie Ramson, and Gracie Nell. Uh, in the game. I think that's their, all their first uh, minutes for this game. And I think they said Britta Holter also entering the game. So uh, Raiders here with a corner kick attempt. 15 minutes into the second half about. Raiders looking to add to that four goal total. Big clear there by the Mustangs, but there's Jillian Brown there to collect it because all the Mustangs were kind of back defending. Rancinichi again trying to make something happen, but there's a lot of white bodies there. I'm seeing nine now back on defense, and two more weren't that far behind. Jillian Brown with a nice step up play there. Raiders continuing to move it. Jillian Brown there with a nice clear. Raiders' next action um, is going to be on uh, Thursday. Um, 
of this week, and they will be taking on uh, Chippewa Falls, and that will be senior night. So uh, two matches this week at home for the Raiders, um, the Mustangs of uh, Menominee here, and then Chippewa Falls on Thursday night, and again, that'll be senior night, so a night to celebrate the variety of seniors on this Raider team. That would be Grace Lewis, Jillian Brown, Caitlin Loomis, uh, Grace Hansen, Sophia Nault, Riley White, Kylie Newis, and Ava Amelsberg. So a large senior contingent this year. Uh, last year was a much smaller group. I think it was five or six seniors, so almost twice as many this year, which is also hopefully going to lead to Great things on the field with that senior leadership. For Menominee, number eight, Hannah White, and number 17, Heyong Zhang. Number of uh, substitutions for Menominee. Now at about the 18-minute uh, mark in the first half. Senior night is always kind of a fun but sad one because these teams often... A lot of younger players play with the older players, and it's sad to see them go. And you know, parents have watched these kids play for years and years and years. And for a number of them, it's the last, might be the last, you know, true soccer game or athletic event um, of these girls' careers. So um, for some, they probably will go on and play a variety of things in college, perhaps, but. Uh, but, you know, these final games, as the year gets close to the end, they're, um, for Menominee, you know, number seven, they're, Ashley Sloop. they're, the, they're for Hudson, such a great 10, time to watch your kid Kalia finish Iyer. playing. I had a son who graduated a few years ago who played boys soccer, and, um, and I remember those last games. So I know the Hudson players and coaches um, and uh, parents how they're feeling right now. <laughs> so um, so we'll celebrate those seniors. Oh, shot off the post by the Raiders. Nice play, but uh, just just hit the post. Otherwise, that was a nice upper, upper right shot. Um, so senior night coming up. Raiders keep poking that ball, taking some shots, trying to make something happen. All these seniors would love to get some goals in these games. Spring season seems like it's always a little shorter than the fall season, um, but still packed with fun games. So the next few weeks will be a lot of games for these girls. Grace Lewis with a nice uh, pickup on the sideline and just decides to take it up and tries to sneak a left-footed cross through, but it goes a little low. It's Kylie Newis here with the throw. Into Olivia Petty, who gives it back to Neus. Puts it in. Trying to sneak a long low one through. Hopefully somebody would have picked that up, but uh, no such luck. And we're now 20 minutes into the second half, so halfway through the second half. Raiders of Hudson continuing to lead 4 nothing over the Menominee Mustangs. Maggie Salama there trying to make some moves, runs into a, some few defenders. Menominee, that's a nice little move there by Menominee and a move up the field. Raiders defense is there, that's number nine Britta Holter. The nice ball up the field. Raiders going for a little long ball there, a little too far, and Mustangs are able to pick that up. And we'll have a punt here to clear the territory. A little too physical there by... Uh, Olivia Petty, but uh, got to play that way. And the Raiders get a gets down deep into their territory, but uh, Menominee can't do much with it. 
There's Salama trying to sneak that ball up. She's going to carry it a little bit this time and then finds a streaking uh, partner over there. Can't see the number. Oh, nice move there by the Mustangs. Starting to get a little penetration down the field. There is a nice play, and now the Mustangs are going to get some kind of an opportunity here. Send a good cross in, but uh, Grace Lewis kind of running the whole field is there to, uh, or that was, I'm sorry, that was Jillian Brown playing defense with a nice uh, streak down there to cut off that crossing pass. But the Mustangs are, you know, putting a little bit of offense together now. Looks like the Mustangs wants to kick that ball slightly and giving the Raiders a goal kick. That might be the Raiders' first goal kick of the night. Substitution um, for Hudson, number six, Maggie McConnell. Looks like Maggie McConnell is in the game for the Raiders. Um, I am going to make a guess that that's Hannah Kendhammer in the goal for the Raiders. Raiders have a good mix of young talent playing with their senior talent. Um, so that's always bodes well for the future years. Again, nice play there and a shot off by the uh, Mustangs, but that ball goes wide. So Raiders will have a goal kick. But we are seeing the Mustangs, the game for the Mustangs put together 11, a bit of offense Kara here. Geisting and number three, Megan Prochnow. A few subs in now for the Mustangs. Goal kick here. Mustangs uh, kind of playing a little extra aggressive and then... Uh, Kind of using their space a little better offensively, but now they're going to have a counterattack by the Raiders. There's Grace Lewis in the middle, sending it through to Salama, who's got a little breakaway. Oh, what? Oh, Salama with a nice play there. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Maggie Salama with some great, great effort amongst a whole bunch of defense. Um, a really nice threaded needle pass by Grace Lewis. Salama trying to pace things to get a shot off. You can't just take that anytime. You got to wait till that ball's in the right spot and uh, then had defense all over her but still got a good shot off and then almost got another good attempt off. So really great play by the uh, sophomore Maggie Salama there. And we're back to it. Raiders fighting it out. 15 minutes left in this match about. Jillian Brown queuing up. Going to give it up to uh, Maggie McConnell for the kick. Big ball up. Ball out wide. Nice ball in. Tough angle though and the Mustangs goalkeeper picks that one up. <laughs> right now back there on defense, number four, Jillian Brown is uh, a senior. But then there is also Britta Holter, who's a 10th grader, and uh, Maggie McConnell, who is a freshman, back there playing defense. So that is a, that's a good young defensive uh, unit there, sophomore and a freshman, along with the senior leadership. And uh, when you're up for nothing, though, you can you can uh, try a few things and try some different combinations and things like that. And that defense is getting a little bit of uh, pressure from the Mustangs a little bit there. Grace Lewis again. Oh, Maggie McConnell with a nice little takeaway. Grace Lewis trying to thread the needle again. Um, Mustangs defense stepping up there. It's McConnell. 
all the way back to uh, Britta Holter. You turn it up. There's Salama with a nice little cutback move. Tries to get it up to Natalie Ramthan, another freshman on the field. Number 22. It's a little bit out of her way, though. There's Salama again, sending it wide. And there is uh, Maggie McConnell. Clock continuing to tick. We're now down to about 13 minutes, 12, 13 minutes in the half. In the match, actually. Mustang step up for that ball and see if they can get something offensively going again. They get some good takeaways and put the ball in the right spot, but they, they've got to keep so many people back defensively that uh, it gets a little tough to uh, put together too much up on that offensive side. And the Raiders, despite having some different combinations, are still maintaining the pressure um, that they started the game with. There's Jillian Brown. Nice takeaway deep in the territory. Keeps it going up to Salama. Gets a nice ball in. Nice quick turn. Uh, brings it back to Petty, but a little out of reach. It's a nice overall play. Sometimes you think you just sh turn and shoot. There's a high shot by the Raiders of Rainbow, but nicely played by Mustang's goalkeeper. I don't know if she's a volleyball player too, but she sort of hit that ball and hit the crossbar and came back to her and she caught it. So it was kind of like a, a set shot in volleyball, but a really nice play because that those balls can sneak in way more than they're saved. Um, so nice play by their goalkeeper there. She's really made a lot of nice plays that probably would make the score a lot higher um, than it's been. So nice job to Mustang's goalkeeper so far. Clear by the Mustangs and we're now Right down to about 10 minutes left in the match. Raiders continue to lead 4 nothing. That's a lead they had at the end of the first half. Kind of had a flurry of goals in the last 10 minutes or so of the first half. I think it was three goals almost. Um, Raiders now subbing out Grace Lewis, it looks like. Substitution for the Raiders, number 18, Riley White. Riley White entering the game for Lewis. And it looks like, I think that's Maggie McConnell coming in to take that corner kick. Big ball, top of the box, not a bad kick. Raiders streak in on the defensive to try to pop that ball in, but kind of mishit it. That's going to be a goal kick for the Mustangs. Number 10, Kiana Frank. Number 18, Marie Zunker. And number 9, Lauren Alexander. Substitution for Hudson. Number 16, Ali Steubendick. Bunch of substitutions for Menominee. And then Ali Steubendick back in the game for the Raiders. Raiders continuing to manage a lot of... Uh, Pressure despite different units on the field here. That's fun to see. A little bit of a long pass there, snaked off by the the Mustangs, but uh, unable to do a lot with it. But it is still going to be a Mustangs throwing deep in their territory. See if they can get something going here uh, offensively. Big throw here, gets it in. And clear by the Raiders' defense. Again, taken, and the Mustang's going to throw a shot in there. Easily handled by uh, Hannah Kindhammer. Gets a good punt off. Taken again by the Mustangs. 
There's Kalia Heyer though with a nice takeaway and move up the field. Stubendick getting the ball deep. Some substitutions though are going to slow down what the Raiders were hoping to do. Clock Checking keeps in ticking. For Hudson, number 17, Sophia Nolts. Number Sophia 8, no Hannah Huntley. And number 11, Armana Rensenichi. So, a variety of subs back into the game for the Raiders. Sophia Nault, Armana Rensenichi. And I missed the last one. So, Raiders get a little more of their uh, seasoned veterans on the field. But, Kalia higher there with a, a good move, but ran into a defender. And Raiders are going to keep moving that ball around. Natalie Ramthan spreading it out. There'll be a Mustangs throw in here. Raiders applying pressure. Ball kind of popping around all over. That was a good play by the Mustangs. And a good step up defensive play by the Raiders. Really nice play. And Raiders keep trying to move it. It's Kalia higher. Nice little quick angle pass. Steuben Dick going for another foot race. She usually wins those, but had a tough, uh, not enough to get on that one, but uh, kicks it out of bounds, across the line. It'll be a uh, Mustangs goal kick here. We're now approaching the five-minute mark of the match, left in the match. Raiders continue to hold their 4 nothing lead. Raiders uh, midfield and defense have done well to contain the ball in the offensive half. And uh, the offensive players have done a great job of putting the ball in the net, especially in the first half with all four goals. But they've maintained the pressure into the second half. <clears throat> so a well-played game all around by the Raiders at this point. And uh, they'll be working hard to hang on to this shutout and maybe add to the scoring a little bit. Here we go. Good play there. It's Ramthan going for a deep long through ball. And Mustangs kind of run out of space and kick it. Try to kick it up the line. Guess they got it. It looks a little dark over there so it's hard to see on the screen. Ooh, good setup play there. Woo! And again, the Mustangs goalkeeper. She, uh, mishandled the ball a bit there and it snuck behind her rolling towards the goal but she had the savviness to figure it out and uh, collect that ball good little play there by the Raiders oh that's a nice ball into Steubendick a lot of defense there though Raiders have been fighting about seven to nine defense all game long without uh, giving up having their defense where they want them. Gonna bring it all the way back here. That's Hannah Huntley. Over to Maggie McConnell. Sends it, tries a deep th low through ball there herself. Sideline. Good. Oh, and there is a goal by Kalia Heyer. She didn't look like she uh, was really in the best position to shoot, and she got a shot off, um, but it was highly accurate um, and a great trajectory 
to tuck into the upper left corner. Nothing the goalkeeper could do about that. So uh, it wasn't a blast, but it was well-placed and uh, nicely done by Kalia Heyer. So her first goal of the season. And that's going to give the Raiders a 5 nothing lead with about four minutes left in the match. Good play here by the Raiders, tacking on a bit at the end of the uh, the match here, keeping that pressure on. Stubendick now with the ball, sending it up the middle. Maggie McConnell there with a nice play in. Raiders continuing to move the ball around nicely. All the way back to Raiders defense. Raiders continuing to pressure. We're down to about two minutes left in the match. Trying to make some things happen. Nice play there by the goalkeeper for Menominee coming out. Can be a scary play there when the player's coming in at full speed and uh, you're down low on the ground, but you played it nicely and deflected that ball. But it will be a Raiders corner kick here with about a minute and a half or maybe a minute. Not sure where this clock is sitting for game time, if it's completely on the mark or not. So we're getting down there. So the Raiders are going to get a last chance here for sure to see if they can add one more in. It's a nice left-footed cross in. Stubendick tries to get something on it. It's Riley White over there. Moving that ball, but taken by the Mustangs. We're going to try to do something on their own, too. A little miss hit there for them. Intercepted by Riley White again, who's going to send it up deep, try to make something happen. Raiders are coming in hard. I think that was Rancinichi and just couldn't quite catch up to that one and get a full shot on. And the Mustangs goalkeeper was able to take it with about 40 seconds left in the match. 30 seconds now, about. Looks like the Raiders are going to go to 4-1 and one with this victory. Probably will end 5 nothing here for the Raiders. So a good shutout for them. Two shutouts in a row for them. Uh, which is always what you want to see um, as a coach. Raiders coach Steve Solom is going to be happy with that, I'm sure. And we'll start preparing Ten, for uh, nine, the Chippewa eight, Falls senior seven, match on Thursday. Six, so thanks, everybody, five, for listening to four, the River Channel. Three, Look forward two, to broadcasting one. Thursday night's game. Check us out. Not sure how much time we have here, so I'll... Uh, just add a bit that uh, good win for the Raiders. Again, off to a solid 4-1 and one start with this victory. Uh, Chippewa Falls with a good outing too. Uh, really holding the Raiders to uh, no goals in the second half until about the last three minutes and uh, where they let one in. So... Um, an improved Menominee team uh, from what I saw last year from them. So kudos to them and their hard work. And thanks, everybody, for a great night.